Hi everyone, this is Diamond Baby Girl 16 and I will be doing my bookshelf tour for you. At the end of the video, I will give you an all overall look of my bookshelf tour. And I will try to keep this video short, but I can't guarantee anything. Alright, so let's get started. First of all, I have my Twilight series. And as you all know, this is by Stephanie Meyer. We have Twilight which if I can get that book back in. I have two editions of Twilight and my sister is in the middle of reading Twilight. I don't know if she's ever going to finish it. And then we have New Moon, Eclipse. I have two editions of Eclipse and then my three editions of Breaking Dawn. And Breaking Dawn. The reason why I have three editions it's because this one right here, as you can tell, it's all beat up. The pages literally, like, come out. My dad's had to glue it a few times. So, then I went to a garage sale, and I found this one. This one was for 50 cents, so I went ahead and bought this one. And then on the same day, I went to a different garage sale, and I found this special edition one. And it's got a cool poster inside of it. It's got extra little things, a CD in the back, so it's really cool. And then we had the Vampire Academy series. And Vampire Academy series is by Rochelle Mead. So we have Vampire Academy, Crossbite, Shadow Kiss, Blood Promise, Spirit Bound, and my favorite one, Last Sacrifice. And then also, that's the Vampire Academy series. This is a spin-off series. It's called Bloodlines. And it's the spin-off series from Vampire Academy. It's by Rochelle Mead as well. And I cannot wait for the Golden Lily, which don't know when that comes out. And then we will move down to my second shelf. We have the Immortal series. And I think it's by Allison Noel or or Allison Noel. If anyone can correct me, tell me if it's Allison Noel or Allison Noel. Because I can never remember. And then yeah, in this series you have Evermore. Blue Moon. Shadowland. Dark Flame. Night Star. And Everlasting. I love this series. I do, I will admit that it gets kind of confusing, but my favorite book in that series would be Everlasting. And then we have the Fallen series by Lauren Kate. We have Fallen, Torment, and Passion. My favorite book out of that series would have to be the first one, Fallen. And then we have the House of Night series. House of Night series is by PC and Kristen Cast. So we have Marked. I have two editions of Marked. One I bought. Well, actually, I didn't buy. My mom surprised me by buying it. And then I had won a contest for this one, and I got that one. And Chosen. Oh, and Marked. My sister is, like, this far in the book. She's also reading this book. And my cat just jumped on my bookshelf. Uh, betrayed after Chosen, which it's kind of hard to see because I don't got great lighting. Untamed. Hunted. Tempted. Which, let's see if we can scoot over Chewy. <laughs> Burned. Uh, this is not going well because I don't go great lady. Awakened. And Destined, which it is very hard to see. And I am a little over halfway in this book. I can't wait to finish it. And then we have The Host by Stephanie Meyer. Which... And the series of unfortunate events. And I don't know who this one's by. But there's that one. And then over here is like little kids' books that I've kind of gotten over the years. And I keep them. And they're really good. So we have Camp Rules. And this one is by Dante. Dante. 
I'm uh, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but Camperol's Dewey, which I have not been able to read yet. It's um, Ficky Moron. Oh, sorry if I pronounced your name wrong. Uh, Freedom by Angela Dorsey and Diablo My Dream Horse and Diablo to the Rescue. And those are by Gabby Adam. And then the Green Horse Hotel, which it is kind of hard to see. Green Horse Hotel by Isabel Pullman, maybe? And then Hoot by Carl. Uh, Parables from Heaven, Devotion for Cat Lovers. By Mr. Wells, Doc, Doddle P. Adams, and Connell Fischel Her. I'm very bad at pronouncing names. And then A Dog's Life by Anne M. Martin. I absolutely adore this book. I'll take it out in the light for you guys can actually see it. I absolutely adore this book. It's in the point of view of a dog. And then The Key to Rondo, which my sister got me, Emily, and it's by Emily. Rhonda Ferris, my sister also got me, and that is by Gail Carson Levine, I think. Uh, the Cheetah Girls, which is by Deborah Gorey. I love the love the movies. Vampire Night, and I cannot pronounce this name. I do not know how to pronounce that yet. And The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins. Uh, this is my sister's edition. I am working on getting my edition, which hopefully it will be in hardback. And The Secret Circle, The Intentative, and The Cap Captive Part 1 by L.J. Smith. I love the TV show. I just got done watching it last night, and I can't believe it's a preseason finale. Uh, Second Short Life of Brie Tanner by Stephanie Meyer. You guessed it. Um, then we have the Twilight Director's Notebook. And it's the story of how we made the movie based on the novel by Stephanie Meyer. My dad got me this book. The Twilight Companion. The Unauthorized Guide to the Series. Louise, and it's by Louise H. Grish. And let's see if I can get this book back in. And I'm having a little trouble. That was just going to stay out. And Robert and Pattinson, Eternally Yours. And it's by Isabel Adams. It's just his life and everything. And then Diary of a Wimpy Kid series. You've got Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Roderick Rules. Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Last Straw. I have two books of Diary of a Wimpy Kid, Dog Days. One's in hardback and one's not. Then Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Ugly Truth. And Diary of a Wimpy Kid, The Movie Diary. And those are by, I forget, Jeff Kinney. So if you guys ever, I love I love them, even though it's like, kind of like a little kid, you know, how it has pictures. I just love it. And then we have The Summer Pony by Jen Slaughter Doty. I think I pronounced that right. Uh, Pick of the Litter by Bill Wallace. This book actually made me cry. Where the Red Fern Grows by Wilson Rawls. I can go on for this. If anybody has anywhere they know where they can get the original movie, not the new edition, to the original, just please tell me because I've been trying to find that movie and I cannot find it anywhere. I remember having it when I was a little kid, but then I think I actually recorded over it on an accident, which made me cry when I tried to watch it and came the Rugrats or, or some shit like that. I forgot. But I love this book. It actually made me cry. And then, Just a Dog 
by Helen Griffin. I cried on this book too. It just I really love books about animals. If you can tell that I am going to become a vet hopefully in 10 more years. I am on my junior of high school. And then last but not least, to hold on my books in place, I have the Twilight Journals. My dad got me this for a Christmas present. And that is my bookshelf tour. As I mentioned, I will give you an overview. That is my bookshelf. There are some books at the top, and those are my mom's. They're not mine. But that's my bookshelf tour. And um, the House and Night series, I think the ninth book is Hidden. So excited for that. So excited for the movies to come out. I wish they would make a movie of Vampire Academy, the Immortal series, and the Fallen series. But can't always have your way, can you? And then last but not least, I got one more thing to tell you guys. The Breaking Dawn movie will be coming out in six short days. And I will be sitting up in line for about six to six and a half hours waiting on the movie. Already pre-ordered my tickets. So, that is it. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you guys got any questions about any of the books or want me to do a book review. Or if you guys can recommend some more like fantasy, immortal type books. My favorite immortal series. Or immortal series. My favorite book series is about vampires, fallen angels, and immortals. And uh, that is my bookshelf tour. So thank you all for watching.